how are you doing and how is that recovery coming for you after what you went through? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, thankfully, uh, for those who don't know, I broke my neck in March and uh, broke it in two places at my C1 and at my C6, but I'm doing really well. Uh, I feel great. I can do this. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, um, it's just a matter of uh, waiting for the bone to fully heal, heal. So we're just waiting on that right now. But thankfully, no pain, no function issues. I feel great. Have they given you, once everything is healed, would you still like to come back as a full-time you know, competitor with WWE? Is that still a possibility or is it just kind of wait and see right now? Yeah, so right now the plan is to get some more scans at the one-year mark. And, uh, you know, I've been doing this for the last 13 years. But it's also something, you know, you don't want to mess around with your C1. It's a very important bone. Uh, so, yeah, I just want to make the, the smart decision for myself. So we'll, we'll see when March rolls around. Uh, but I'm someone, I like to meditate. I like to stay present. So right now I'm not too worried about all that. I'm just trying to, uh, to be in the moment. But uh, we'll see when March comes around. I was going to ask you just if, you, if there's anyone you draw inspiration from as you try to, to, to come back and rehab and everything. I'm, obviously, I'm sure you have a great support system there with sure. WWE, but anyone else that you're kind of, you know, drawing inspiration from as you, as you try to make, come back from this? Yeah, well, I mean, even from uh, Atlanta's own uh, Cody Rhodes, uh, the Atlanta area, at least, uh, I mean, he wrestled with a, a torn pec. You talk about people who put their bodies on the line. You think of him and uh, seeing him, he's also in his recovery as well. So there are so many people, too. And you, you think, too, like I look at uh, cases like Edge. And Edge had this injury that uh, ended his career. He was out for years. And to see him fight back, to see him and have incredible matches, um, he, he's someone who's definitely inspirational. So, yeah, there are a lot of people that I draw inspiration from. Let's talk about the show here, Atlanta, next week. You know, the, the week before, between Christmas and New Year's is usually one of the best weeks for WWE business because people are off, they want to get out and do stuff, maybe tickets for Christmas presents. So uh, Atlanta on that schedule uh, this year in, in between Christmas and New Year's, why do you think Atlanta was so lucky? And, and what kind of market is it for you guys when you come down here? Just because, I mean, there's a, there's a long wrestling uh, tradition here in, in the city and in, in the south really yeah that's what i was going to point to atlanta has such a great wrestling tradition it just makes sense to keep coming back here uh and the last time i was here you know i, I think uh, it, was, it would have been more fond uh it was day one uh in atlanta uh and I, I i lost my wwe championship but besides that it was an incredible experience incredible crowd and atlanta you know, when you think of wrestling when you think of what we do i think of the south and i think of atlanta and i grew up on wcw and that was Atlanta. It's like, uh, so there are just so many, we just have uh, in this city, there's so many people who love what we do. And, and like you said, it's so great for the families. You're talking about, you can bring your grandma, you can bring uh, your, your little kids, you can bring everyone. It's really, it really is meant for families. Business right now for you guys is, is really, really great. I mean, when you look at live ticket sales, you know, when you look at TV, there are so many people who are quote unquote cutting the cord, but your ratings compared to other cable stations are actually pretty good. Merchandise is good. Why do you think the product is so hot right now? Well, I, I think there's just something to, for one, there's just something to being there live. Like you said, a live event, watching it live on TV, being there in person, knowing that this is going to happen right now. And it's, it's that live feeling. There's nothing like that. But uh, I really think a lot of it is uh, attributed to just kind of the direction of the company right now with Triple H running things. Um, I think there's this renewed excitement. You have new leadership and, and people are excited to see what this Triple H era looks like. And I think there's uh, definitely big element of that and you just have so many talented athletes in WWE uh, and some a new breed a new crop when you're looking at Austin Theory who's from Atlanta he's doing an incredible job uh, Bianca Belair uh, she's a star from the, just the last few years who has absolutely been killing it we have this new crop of young talent that I think is really invigorating our audience and obviously one of the keys to being successful over 20 30 40 years is you have to bring in new talent on, on you know every once in a while you guys have done a lot with what you call the NIL, your version of the NIL program recruiting colleges. Do you think that's maybe the future of, of stars in, in, in your company? Is it other promotions? Is it independence? Is it the college athletes? Or is it a combination of all those things as you look at the future? I think it'll be definitely, uh, it definitely will be a mix of the two. I think you'll definitely want to have people who have been grinding on the independent scene, who, who really have honed their craft. But then you also look to so many of the stars from WWE. You're talking about uh, The Rock played football at Miami. Stone Cold played football at North Texas. Uh, so many of the biggest stars in our industry have long come from college sports. So instead of, you know, for people like me, I played football at Iowa and I didn't really know the path to get to WWE. I was fortunate enough that a scout, you know, I knew someone who knew someone who knew a scout. 
Uh, but now I love with NIL, with what we're doing, we call it next in line with WWE. Now there is a more clearly defined path as a college athlete to getting to WWE. When you go to a live event, it may not be a TV taping or what they used to call pay-per-views, premium live events now. If it's, even if it's just a regular live event, what is the key to making it fun for everybody who wants to come out? Or, or maybe people are at home on the fence about, do I want to go? What, what, is the key, what do you guys do to make those events so fun? Uh, man, I will say as a performer, live events are what we really look forward to. TV is great. It's obviously, that's how we make our money. That's, that's the bread and butter of what we do. But, you know, there are commercial breaks and, you know, you have to follow. It has to be very regimented. But the beautiful thing with our live events is you get this opportunity to play. And I love, for me, every time on a live event, I'm always looking for people to interact with. I'm always looking for, for fans to give a memory or someone to, whether it's passing someone a shirt, whether it's giving a kid a, a dap or a high five, that's always what you do. And we even, like, we'll, we'll cater what we do in the ring for that live audience reaction because that's that's really the point of it you're not just in the ring just doing moves and hoping people like it the point is to engage people as much as possible that's what makes a great superstar someone who can engage someone so that's why we love live events and for anyone who's never been to a live event i'm telling you they're special they're different you're going to see another side of superstars that you haven't seen on tv and you just get that live in-person ability to interact with with uh, your favorite superstars there's nothing like it all right, well, before I let you go on, we'll do one more hard sell for the show, but I've got to ask you about the college football playoff. You are a college football player. The Peach Bowl is here. Georgia's involved. Uh, Ohio State, Big Ten team is involved. So is Michigan, as well as TCU. I, are you into the college football playoff, and do you have any thoughts or predictions on what's going to happen? Yeah, college football was my first love, so this is, this is right up my alley. I'm not saying this simply because we're here in Atlanta, but Georgia is on a run. They're on a tear. Uh, big fan of Brock Bowers, uh, just an incredible talent at tight end. Uh, Stetson has been playing incredibly well. I know we didn't have the Heisman numbers from, but in big games, Stetson looks incredible. And that defense, you look at all the guys they lost to the NFL, over a dozen guys who were drafted last year, I think from the defensive side alone, and they might be even better on defense. So I think Georgia's not gonna have much trouble in this playoff. We'll see how things shake out. Uh, I think the Michigan TCU game should be fun. I, I, I'm going Michigan there. I think we'll get Michigan Georgia in the uh, national title game, but uh, it feels like Georgia's going back to back. All right, so let's do the hard sell State Farm Arena next week. This is an exciting time of year because this period between now and WrestleMania is when things really, really gear up. So Tuesday, State Farm Arena next week, why should people come out? There is nothing like being there in person to feel that energy, to feel your favorite superstars shouting you out, slapping high fives with you. You got to be there in Atlanta State Farm Arena. The show starts at 7.30. You got to be there. Don't miss it. Buy your tickets at Ticketmaster or State Farm. You can just walk up to State Farm and say, I need tickets. I need to see this. Enjoy your holiday. What better way to enjoy your holiday than coming? to WWE Live.